Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is D Free. Here today we're going to talk about the information that has come out today after the stream of the uh, showdown. Hope you guys enjoy. Of course, hit subscribe if you're new for more content. So huge shout out to our champion Milkool. Uh, just to tell you that, guys, just really briefly, um, I didn't really even consider who to put my little ticket things into. I just was like, oh, I'm gonna put them all in Mil Milkool because I like his name. <laughs> and lo and behold, he actually won. So that was awesome. Uh, and and I, it was really nice to see some of those top players and, and the way that they played and the way they maneuvered and just, of course, something to strive for personally, right? So awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys did not see the stream, I will leave that down below. And there's going to be a big reason as to why you're going to want to see it. We'll come back to that in just a moment. So a couple of things did come out in the middle of the stream. So they officially announced the actual start date for the anniversary. Now, if you guys remember, over the course of last week, I've done a couple of discussions. One of them I actually mentioned, hey, it's kind of really hard to pinpoint the actual day that Dragon Ball Legends did launch well because it launched in different areas at different times they just trickled it out slowly right um, and since that's the case they even acknowledged that on the stream in fact since that's the case uh, they decided to just go with the 31st of May so uh, we're going to be seeing I believe starting tomorrow the pre oh, no no it's actually started now uh, the pre-anniversary login bonus will be going until the 30th I believe something like that Renzi told me I forgot forgive me but again the 30th first so if you haven't been saving make sure you're saving for that uh, i'm really happy that they teased some characters in the stream as well because now i will not do any more summons anyways that being said one of the things they did announce was there is a first anniversary campaign summon so special anniversary summon you get to summon 10 characters for free every day and he also mentioned this time it is not just goku the goku everyday one so this one's interesting because it's like when you hold on when you tie this in with the fact they're doing character balances, which we'll come back to, it's very possible it's a banner that allows you to pull basically old old units, even though they're buffed. Uh, they'll be better, right? Uh, because it looks like they're going to be buffing some of the older units that just need a buff. It still would just be, eh, but I'm not going to complain by the chance to get free units personally, and you guys shouldn't either in particular. But uh, you just keep that in mind. Like, don't don't go in there thinking, oh, this banner is going to have like Super Saiyan Gogeta, Gogeta, uh, the blue Gogeta. I don't want to say Gogeta blue, but the blue Gogeta that transforms all that stuff, right? It's it's probably not. But again, it's still nice to just get free units and also to get those limit breaks. Like for me personally, I don't need limit breaks on all the old units, but I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Like for example, uh, characters that pick up uh, a good Z ability at five star, something like that, right? So it's going to be nice, and uh, hopefully the pool is good in before Master Pack 1 only. <laughs> I just want there – hold on. My only real question is will there be EXs that are new, right? Because I've been saying it for a while. You may disagree, and that's fine, but trust me, the hardest units to pull in the game are the brand-new EX cards. When they are brand-new on a banner, it is almost impossible because they do not get a spiked rate like the new Sparkings do. It is almost impossible. So can we get Videl on that banner? Can we get the Trunks on that banner? Can we get Evil Boo on that banner, who's their banner bait guy? They put them on all the bait banners. Can we get those cards, man? <laughs> the last, like, three or four months of uh, EXs. So one of the things that's happened as well is the first anniversary campaign, info number two, Shallot's Ascension. Shout out to Kagi. Uh, new story update. So we're going to get more story, of course, and Shallot will be going Super Saiyan 2. This isn't news. We saw this in the V-Jump. Uh, we're going to kind of look at that a little bit because there is actually some gameplay for Shallot, and I want to kind of see how he functions. A lot of people are speculating he'll go EX. Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I will say that'd be the first instance, I believe, in the game of a card going from one rarity to another. Like, uh, if you play Dokkan, like a Dokkan Awakening type mechanic, that that's not a thing. You pull a unit in this game and it stays that way. But we'll see what happens. But ultimately, it's very nice to get more story because that means more stones, which is awesome because it just means you guys will be able to have more ammunition to throw at these banners that are going to be coming out. Uh, I, my only hope is that the uh, stuff like this comes out in the very beginning because it does kind of suck when you have to wait like for example with what's going on now they drop that broly level 50 stage it's like free 1000 crystals but they give you like i, I think that the the uh step up banner was going to go away in like a day right so just stuff like that another thing that's happening i kind of talked about character balance adjustments this is something that we've been waiting for for a couple of months now because it seemed like they were doing it once every few months or a couple of months, two, three months maybe. Uh, they got in a nice groove with it, right? Uh, so since that's the case, I believe this is in fact the fourth character balance adjustment. Uh, so 
when it comes down to this, there's a number of good, good candidates. I did a video a month ago. I'll actually send out another one I'm going to do. But again, SS Vegeta's here, so it's pretty obvious he's going to be the one that gets buffed. Otherwise, I don't know why he'd be listed here. I'd, I'd go as far as to say this is almost false advertisement if he's there, right, and he doesn't get a buff. So a lot of people have been waiting for that. Another good candidate would be like Blue Broly, obviously. Uh, we also do want the red Super Saiyan Trunks, stuff like that. So there's actually some really good candidates. But now for the moment of truth, this is not it. <laughs> this is their Twitter. I'm that hyped. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the stream, I might have mentioned earlier. I'll leave it down below for you guys. We're going to watch the final few minutes of, uh, of Milkool's fighting together in the video. So let's jump in. Um, we're going to hit play. All right. So I'm actually going to fast forward a little bit. Okay. So right here, they're going in. All right. I've already seen it, but hopefully, man, this is this is awesome. I gotta see it again, though. I gotta see it again. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, all right, all right. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, that hold on. That special intro. That is dope. I hope we have that in the game. Yeah! Oh, the Big Bang attack. <laughs> My man Kaki is so happy. They don't tell me anything. <laughs> they really don't tell me anything. Just tell people that. I truly mean it. Oh man, Milk. Oh no. I don't care about the Super Saiyan. All right, what? Oh, that aura looks nice. That looks really good. Hold on, look at all those buffs the Goku has. Oh my goodness. He has so many buffs active. And he just came in. And he draws an ultimate. Yeah, this ultimate looks clean as hell, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad for Milkul. He's just sitting there like, hold on. What's happening, man? Oh, a cover change. That's something I didn't catch in the first part. I was too hyped, man. Oh, boy, old boy. There's Goku coming in. Trying to put in that work against Vegito. Milkul just realized, oh, my God, I actually have to win this match. <laughs> Milkul's playing pretty bad here. I th and also, I think he's letting him take him, like, let him uh, hit him a few times. But still, man. Ah, Milkul, don't do it. Oh, Goku's green card either heals or recovers key. Oh, he could. I think he could have canceled that. I think it could have. Uh, I think he could have canceled that. Yeah. Freaking Milkool didn't let us have fun. He ruined the fun. But, um, yeah, hype about that. Can you stop with these weird? Uh, whatever. Um, a couple of things I want to do is just kind of go through it very quickly and dissect what we saw. For one, that intro. This is gorgeous. This is awesome. I really like this. I really, really like this. Hopefully they do this and uh, they do this with more units. But again, it's anniversary. It's supposed to feel special, right? Uh, so when we come out, 
Actually, you know, let me open it on YouTube because uh, over there it's kind of giving me weird aspects. Um, actually, no, I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I'll go ahead and do it this way because it's not letting me see the bottom bar. Uh, but yeah, that looks nice. Uh, a couple of things that I noticed, though, is the buffs that these characters had applicable. So when we actually kind of scrub through just the beginning of the fight, I'll even turn off the audio because these guys are going to be talking. So Vegito starts off with an inflicted damage bonus. Uh, I also... Hold on. He went through and he got another one, in fact. I also know... Oh, recovers key with the special move. For the fifth time, I also noticed that uh, he also has the ability to nullify the endurance. So he... I don't know if he's anti-regen like a lot of people want him to be. I don't. We're not going to know that now. But he can stop the revives, right? So if you're up against Zamasu, Zamasu will not be able to revive. Uh, hopefully they just put out a trailer tonight and give us some teasers. They might as well at this point. I think they're, they might wait a couple days. Who knows? But they might as well. Also, if you didn't see my prediction video, this is actually really hype for me because uh, – let me pause here. This is really hype for me because I predicted in that video that we would get a SSB Goku – uh, and for the record, I don't I don't think these are the only two characters we're getting. I think that it's possible we might get one or two banners, but long story short, these are most likely not the only characters we're getting for the entirety of the anniversary campaign. No, I don't think so. I think there might be two banners, uh, and, and there might at least be one more unit. But you know this game, they love to put a banner out every week. It's possible we get two banners. Just going to put that out there. Uh, so they might not even be on the same banner as well. We don't know that stuff, right? Again, Vegito could come out alongside somebody else. We'll have to wait until we see character previews probably on the Twitter. Uh, but I predicted that we'd get an SSB Goku as one of the things and be the ROF version, which we actually are getting. It remains to be seen if he's movies, though. I'm I'm gonna guess he's probably not on that matter. Um, I don't re I don't recognize his ultimate though. Right? I'd have to go back and watch that stuff again. But the Vegito as well. I actually literally predicted the Vegito art, which is awesome. Uh, so we come over here. Oh, his main ability completely restores his vanish gauge. Oh my goodness! What? Hold on, hold on. Watch him vanish. And then use the main ability. It gives him an ult, and it completely recovers the Vanish meter. That's nuts, man. That's nuts. Because you don't even have to use that. You're not cornered anymore. A lot of times when you when you get into the Vanish position, you have to switch because you're cornered. Or you just take the hit, right? So Vanish is gone, and it instantly went back up to max. Wow. That's awesome. He could have vanished out of that. That's awesome, though. That's really cool. It got wasted there because the hits kick in and gave him max anyway, but that's really cool to see. Uh, so he uses that. He gets ultimate damage bonus. So the ultimate – oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Why do I, f I kind of feel like that might be from the Champa tournament. I'd have to go back and see. Anyways, the ROF Gi outfit, even though he's, he might not be from ROF. Um, that being said, though, uh, yeah, that looks dope. That looks really nice. And Goku's uh, ultimate gave him bonus ultimate damage, it seemed. So he was going to do a ton of damage. So we right here see an example of a cover change from the Vegito. Oh, come on. From the Vegito, in fact. So that's going to be like right here. So we get a cover change. And Vegito's cover is uh, it's almost like the cover rescue because you, he just kind of comes in. It could be cover rescue, in fact. He just comes in, in fact, and they just uh, don't do any damage. It reminds me a little bit of Broly's, uh, the green Broly. I don't know. We'll have to see. It could be a counter. It's basically his counter mechanic. Uh, but it could be like that, you know. So he comes in, cover change right here. He switches into the Vegito. He kicks him out of the way. So that was part of that. And then he comes in with the <laughs> – this is dope, man. Arms crossed and all. Oh, my gosh. He knocks back, literally. It's a knockback. And you can even chain it, it seems, because he clicks a strike card. You can chain it. I think he might have been – I'd have to look at uh, Milkool's screen, but he might have been able to vanish out of that. Let me see Milkool's screen, see if he got a timer to vanish out. Uh, oh, this is a little too far, in fact. I don't think he got a timer to vanish out. We'll have to watch this beautiful animation again. Nobody's complaining about that. Okay, so that comes through. Okay, the strike card comes in. Just go, Milkool. You already spoiled this. I can't. I can't have fun because you decided to kick his butt. Did he get it? Oh, he does. Okay, so you can't chain it. He could have got out of that. Like there were. A few, he was probably like starstruck, and then he was also like surprised by these units. <laughs> uh, okay, so ultimate damage up bonus again. I wonder if that's. Look at this. <laughs> look. <laughs> I wonder if that's something that Shallot may do, or the Goku just in general. Like maybe one of these characters has an ability where. 
If you use an ultimate, the character damage gets bonused. I don't know. Uh, but on a side note, I want to look at this one more time. Because when he triggers his main ability, a couple things did happen. I wanted to get those. Uh, so he got a key recover for one. And he got... We're going to go right there. Okay. So he got a card draw speed bonus. I believe an inflicted damage bonus. An ultimate damage bonus. And... Uh, well, the ultimate kicked in there. And the nullify enhance. Yeah, he got a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. It's kind of hard to pinpoint because this uh, thingy... It's so small, I can hardly see it. But And we're almost done anyway, so I'm just going to let it play after this part. But yeah, I am so excited for this, man. This is dope. This is dope, man. The recover key, inflicted bonus, and card draw bonus. Okay. Card draw bonus. I wonder how, how what if that's one or two levels. That's actually important. Not so important, but it is important. <laughs> he got Gohan through the dick. <laughs> Rewind it. I swear he did. And then Gohan's face. <laughs> On a side note, I have no love for Shallot. Uh, I don't dislike Shallot. It's just I'm not. I'm not. I mean, he's alongside two characters I'm hype about. I'm not so hype about Shallot. I'm just not. Uh, so I haven't really said anything about him. And I'll wait for that. But Vegito coming through. Even the Big Bang recovery is key, too. Interesting. He doesn't have the, the Vanish recovery that Goku has, though. But Goku has a one time deal with that, though, anyway. Also, Goku's green card either heals or recovers key. I'm going to guess it recovers key. Because if it recovers HP, that's really awesome. And then Milkul actually does, again, finish off the Goku, and that's about it. And then Shallot comes in. It looked like Shallot earlier on, by the way, did have some sort of sustained damage cut. Uh, see, actually, it triggered right there, sustained cut. I don't know how he got that. Maybe it's a delayed effect. Uh, I noticed that earlier, though. Maybe it's a delayed effect. Shallot might have something where he uh, is able to get a bonus after a certain number of timer counts, like the Goku that we're fighting, actually. Uh, well, that Ikeda-san is fighting, but you get my point. Uh, where after a few number of counts, he gets that bonus, right? Just the key and stuff like that. So maybe Shallot does something like that. And, uh, you know, the sustained damage cut is interesting because that tells me he probably doesn't go up a rarity. Like, you know, I mentioned earlier, people were speculating he's going extreme. He probably stays hero, to be honest. Uh, that's what I will guess. And if, if they buff his stats enough and they give him stuff like that, it won't matter too much. Like, it'll matter, but it won't matter too, too much, I would say. Uh, he'll be at least decently competitive in the right hands. So thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed, had fun, all that other stuff. I'll leave the stream down below, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.